All right, guys, this is listen and respond for T-Rex time machine. So go ahead and write that down. T-Rex time machine. Go ahead and write your name at the top. Make sure it's on there. Today is the 7th, I think. All right. So preview readers always collect clues before they get started reading. Look at the front and back covers of the book before you start. So this is kind of a vague cover, right? Like it just looks like a ship with like space, right? So in the back is just more space. So judging by the title, T-Rex Time Machine, and the picture, what do you think this book is going to be about? So I think this book will be about space travel. Because, I think this because there is a ship in space on the cover. Guys, if you could please, please try to make your handwriting as neat as possible. Some of us are missing questions because I cannot read what you're writing. So please try to make each letter just as like neatly as you possibly can. Go ahead and pick out one more thing that you think this book might be about. And then I'm going to start reading. T-Rex Time Machine. One day, a time traveler traveled back to prehistoric times. Hey, look, food! Which he quickly regretted. So much work for such little meat. Tell me about it. What is this thing? Beats me, but I think I smell food inside. The dinosaurs curiously climbed on board. Save me some. So let's go ahead and... So the characters don't... It doesn't look like they have names. Maybe they do, but we can come back later and write those names down. So we're going to put Time Traveler and Dinosaurs. That's all we know so far. If anybody else comes up, we can add them in. So the Time Traveler was a man. The dinosaurs are apparently very hungry. Um, and they're curious because they climbed into that machine without knowing what it is, right? So what's the setting of the story? Remember, the setting is always going to be a place. So please make sure that if you fill this answer in, you're writing a place. You're not writing the name of something. Like, you're writing a location, a place to go. So the setting of the story so far is... Looks like a jungle, right? If it changes, we can add it right here. The setting matches what is happening with the characters because dinosaurs lived in the jungle. All right, so now we're at the part where it says make a prediction. And I stopped right here because I felt like this was a good place to make a prediction. So something I think might happen next is, so they climbed on board the space, the time traveling ship. And I think that something that I think might happen next is the dinosaurs might time travel. I think this because they got into the time machine. All right, now I want you to come up with something that you think might happen next. And we're gonna go ahead and keep reading. And they were flung very far into the future. Ooh. At first, they didn't know what to think about their new surroundings. Here's your order. Am I smelling what I think I'm smelling? Ah! Giant lizards! But they soon got the hang of it. The food comes to us! Tastes like Pteranodon. I need a pizza delivered to the convenience store on Main Street. Ah! Monsters! The pizza's on the way. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's tacos and subs and cakes and more. Food is everywhere. What is that? See you in a few delicious noodles. You order the pizza? Wow. It's the sun in a box. It cooks food. Would you look at this floppy food? Hey, T-Rexes, put your tiny baby hands in the air. The dinosaurs were scared, but just then, pop, ding, everybody get down. 
Let's get out of here. Donut? Yes, please. No time. This way. The dinosaurs are running out of time. They needed to get home fast. Now what? Let's just get back to that magic egg. But their problems weren't over. We don't know how to make this thing go. The dinosaurs were stuck. They were sad. They threw a huge tantrum. I want to go home. I didn't get a donut. Beep, beep. I missed my chance at a donut. I didn't quite get that. Did you say, I want to dance with King Tut? No. And they worship. There they go again. I don't know who this Tut guy is, but he better have a donut. All right. So now we're going to visualize. So I'm imagining the part in the story where they get into the machine is happening. I'm imagining it looks like lots of buttons. Three things to describe this are. So what should, how could we, if I've never seen this before, what is something you would tell me so that I would know what it looked like? So please don't just write, oh, it's cool or it's, you know, loud. Tell me what parts of it do you see? Like pretend like I cannot see and you have to tell me. So I'm going to give you an example and then you're going to fill in the other two blanks. So I said lots of buttons. So I'm going to have, so I see a large round black dial. So I described what the button looked like. So a dial is something you twist and turn, right? So then now what would you describe if you see lots of buttons? What else do you see? Think of like video games, think of movies you've seen that have control panels. And then you're gonna tell me what it looks like in these two blanks. And then why do you think this? I think this because in the story, they get into the machine. Okay, next part. So we're gonna say the story, T-Rex time machine. That's what goes here because see this part in parentheses is telling you what to write in that blank. Title of the story talks about dinos. Those are the characters. In the beginning of the story, what happens in the beginning? A time traveler arrives in dino time. What happens in the middle? What happens at the end? And then down here, you're going to go on to Google Classroom for your color. Do a new post. So you're going to pick one or the other. You're either going to pick Making Connections or Story Continued. You do not have to do both. If you choose to do one of these, please put the which one you're doing. Like, if you're just typing stuff, I don't know what you're doing. I need you to say Making Connections. That should be your title, right? So it should be like, the post should say Making Connections to T-Rex time machine. And then you put the colon and then you write your connection. I saw this in a movie, I read this in a book. This reminds me of my friend who steals everybody's food, right? So these are your connections. If you do story continued, please, t your title should say T-Rex time machine continued. And then tell me what you think happens when they go see King Tut. What's the next step? So after you finish these two things, or these this packet, you can work on any outstanding assignments you might have. If you don't have any more assignments, then you need to go to Lexia, IXL, MobyMax, or read your book.